to grab our groceries. I actually was not gonna film today, but I did not film all weekend, so I decided to. We're gonna get our groceries. I'm gonna share, share our meal plan for the week and probably share our supper tonight. I'm trying to decide what we're gonna do for supper tonight, um, but for sure I'm gonna share. Hey, Callan. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello. I'm also gonna share what I'm meal prepping for lunches this week. But um, I might have to actually do that. I think I'm gonna have to do it later. I'm not gonna be able to do it for lunch today because one of the things that is, I have to make it with, uh, Aldi was out of. And so I'm gonna have to probably ask Ethan to stop on his way home from work and I'll just make it later today for the rest of the week. Um, but anyways, let's go grab that. I thought I'd just bring you along for a whole day, kind of vlog today, just a super vlog style grocery haul meal plan. Uh, what I'm meal prepping this week and just kind of bring y'all in for a day. So I know my last video was like a grocery haul, restock and all that. I actually filmed that at the very like beginning of the week though. I just put it up later in the week. So it would be very similar to my last video. Kinda, not really. Um, and so anyway, so let's get started. I'm gonna get this sweet boy in the car. Everybody else is getting in, huh? So, Helen may not let me talk right now because he does not like the car unless it's moving. We're actually doing two grocery hauls. We're going to do Aldi and Walmart. So, let's try and do that. So, Helen is a little bit calmer. So, it is actually, I didn't realize that I could do a pickup at Aldi for, it was like $1.99. I thought, it's through Instacart. I'm waiting on them to come, so I'm kind of checking for when they come. It's through Instacart. Oh, here they are. Hold on. Okay, I'm now at Walmart. What I was saying was, I didn't realize that on the on the Instacart, I could do a pickup for like $1.99 and that's all you have to pay. Like you, like it's not like an Instacart shopper, it's like an Aldi shopper doing it. And so I'm definitely gonna be taking more advantage of that now that I know that because it's totally worth it to get a lot of stuff there for like $1.99 for them to shop for you. Um, so I've got an Aldi order. I got what I can at Aldi and then what I couldn't get at Aldi or what I wanted from Walmart, I just got a Walmart order. Like it's not like a big deal for me to go to both. They're pretty close to me. Um, so anyways, I'm pretty excited about that. Now I'm waiting on my Walmart order and we'll head home. So I tried to write on my meal plan board and realized my chalk marker was uh, like dried out. So I didn't write on my board this week. I'll have to pick up some more of those or order those, but I do have my meal plan like written out on my phone. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. So for dinners this week, we're gonna have some Hawaiian chicken that I'll show y'all from Aldi if you haven't seen me talk about that before. And then we're gonna do French dip sandwiches. And I think I'm gonna do a what I eat today this week and I might share those there. So stay tuned for that. I don't, I'm not gonna have time to do them today, I don't think. Uh, we're gonna do breakfast because we actually didn't do that last week. I have bacon left from that. We're gonna do tacos, which we have every single week. It's just easy and everybody likes it. And we're gonna do homemade pizzas. And then for lunch, we've got like grilled cheese stuff, corn dogs, chicken nuggets, things like that. Um, breakfast is our usual pancakes, waffles, like frozen pancakes, frozen waffles, cereal bars, We've got a bunch of breakfast stuff. So that is on the meal plan for this week. And let me show y'all all of our groceries. I'll start with Aldi first. So starting with Aldi, I got some sandwich bread that I thought the girls can make sandwiches this week or I'm gonna make them a grilled cheese. I really like this beef turkey. It's pretty low in points as well. So I got two of those. We got some milk. I didn't get that on there. That was from another day. I got some baby carrots. Right, this sweet boy didn't wanna be in his little chair. So he's gonna do this grocery haul with me. You gonna do my grocery haul? All right, so we've got strawberries. I got two of those. I got this light whipped topping to go with that. Um, one of y'all told me that Aldi had the fully cooked bacon, and so I thought I'd try that. Um, I was excited to find that. Hawaiian style chicken. This is really good. I can't remember exactly the points. Maybe five per serving. I can't remember for sure. I thought I had got two of these because we need two of them to serve our whole family. But apparently I only got one, which is okay. I'll either pick up another one or maybe Ethan and I will eat this. I don't think the girls have even ever tried it. And we'll do like something else for them to go with our sides with it. I got two of these steamed super sweet corns. Uh, I don't think I meant to get this. I meant to get something different. But maybe that'll work with the recipe I'm doing. Uh, two of these mint chip light ice cream. We got some white cheddar popcorn and then these white cheddar puffs as well. So I got these hash browns. I thought they'd be good to go in the air fryer. Um, 
I wonder how, I don't know the points on them. I was going to say, I wonder the points on them. I'm not really sure, but I also thought we could, if we, whenever we do our breakfast on the Blackstone, I thought we could throw some of these to go with that. It'd be really easy. We got, uh, these buttermilk pan, frozen pancakes, a couple of things of French toast sticks and a couple things of these, uh, their brand of Pringles, some shredded lettuce. I think I'm actually, because I'm not going to be able to do my meal prep until later today for lunch. I think I'll just do my wrap. Cause I hadn't had a wrap in a, well, probably like a few days. Uh, some mini cucumbers, two things of applesauce. We got the strawberry apple and then the apple multi-fruit and then a thing of muffins. I also needed some pepper. So I got some of that, some beef broth to go with the recipe. I got some chips. I thought we could do with our French dip sandwiches maybe, or I might do like some kind of potato with it, like roasted potatoes. I got Dijon mustard. Uh, four green beans. I really love to get like canned stuff at Aldi. So I went ahead and got some green beans. I got two of these for a snack. I hadn't bought those in a while. I got two of these mozzarella cheese to go with our homemade pizzas. And then lastly from Aldi, I got these breakfast biscuits. We've never tried these. So I thought I'd try those for the girls. All right. Now quickly on to our Walmart. I got some rinse aid for our dishwasher. We got some bay leaves and celery seed. Ethan's drinks. I got these for our French chip sandwiches we're going to do. Um, I've never ever made French chip sandwiches, but I got those for them. I love these mini bagels. They actually substituted this on my last grocery order. I actually got like the everything bagels and they substituted for these. These are three points and I actually prefer these. They're super good. Some more tortillas, the La Bandurita carb counter tortillas. This is our, my favorite taco kit to get because it comes with the soft and hard, which like will suit my whole family because some like soft, some likes hard. So I actually decided to start getting that and to go with our tacos. We'll also do some of this Mexican rice, which uh, this is actually my favorite that I found. Also got some celery, some bouillon cubes. I got some of this pizza sauce. I've heard the Reyes brand is so good. So I decided to splurge a little bit and try that and see if it makes it like super good. All right, now I have Colin in my arms. I've got two of these pizza crusts. They are thin crusts and I thought everybody would prefer that. They look really good and like lots of seasoning in there. So we got those for our pizza night. I'm gonna do a two, two ingredient dough pizza. I got some light mayo for my meal prep. I got some pepperoni, regular pepperoni for everybody's pizza because I also have turkey pepperoni in the refrigerator. We got this for our sin friendship sandwiches. We got some Velveeta slices, some muffins, laughing cow cheese, some onions. Uh, we've got a lemon. Uh, and then these are, e or these are Millie's like favorite snacks. So I got those. So this is a roast for the French dip. We also got a big thing of chicken and I got some ground beef for our tacos. So that is our grocery haul for the week. I'm actually really excited to find that out from Aldi because I will probably do that most weeks now I feel like, um, especially when school starts back. I love getting stuff from Aldi to go in their lunches and snacks and things like that. So I will definitely be taking advantage of that. Also, I'm gonna have to do a deep freezer restock. A few days ago, was it Friday? Friday morning, Ethan texted me and said that our deep freezer was not working. We had had, we had like bad, uh, bad storms early in the week, like Monday. And apparently it had done something to the power surge I don't know if I worded that right. I don't know if I said that right, but it done something to it and it cut our deep freezer off and everything was ruined in our deep freezer, including all of my breast milk that I had pumped in the NICU, which I actually had a good bit that I had pumped in the NICU. It was ruined. Like I went out there as soon as I saw his text early that morning and before it could like refreeze just to, you know, kind of see was it a little bit thawed or completely thawed? It was completely thawed and not even that cold. So I had to throw all of that out and it broke my heart to do that. I did save one bottle in case I wanted to do something with it, like jewelry or something. You know, they make like necklaces, bracelets. I know they make rings and things like that. So I thought if I ever wanted to do something like that with it, I thought that be would be like special breast milk to do that with because it was like NICU breast milk. It was even like labeled with the NICU labels and everything. Um, but I was so sad. We also had food, not a ton of food in there, but we did have some like meats and frozen things, like frozen breakfast things. But the biggest thing was my breast milk. I was so 
so sad about that. Um, so we do need to start like restocking some of those things. So some of this might actually go in there if we don't have room in our regular freezer, but a reminder to check your deep freezers like each day. I need, we need to check it each day in case something like that ever happened again because I don't want anything like, if y'all remember um, our power right when we moved into this house, like a couple weeks we had been here, if that, I feel like it was like right after we moved in, we had bad weather and our power went out for a few days and we had to throw everything in our deep freezer away. So this is the second time since we've been here we've had to do that in our deep freezer. Uh, so hopefully it won't happen again. I put stuff away and this is laying on my table. I forgot to say I got potatoes to go as like a side dish and the girls have already broke into this. <laughs> the girls really like this as well. I went ahead and got everything stocked while I had a minute. I do need to get more oat milk. Walmart was out of that. So when Ethan stops to get my Greek yogurt, I'll tell him to grab me some of that. The kids are playing. Did y'all see, did y'all hear Millie singing Jesus loves me on the karaoke? Um, but this is stocked. I went ahead and cut up our strawberries because they're not going to be good for very long. So I want to eat these like by probably like tomorrow, which they probably will be eaten tomorrow by tomorrow. Because my girls love strawberries, so I went ahead and cut them up and put a paper towel down to get let all the excess moisture go to the paper towel. I usually I do this for most berries. I typically don't with strawberries because I heard they're not as good when you do that. Something about the water getting it on. But I went ahead and did that this time, so we'll kind of see how that works out. It's just so much easier to grab them versus having to cut them up each time. It's a good little snack for the girls too. Got all of our meats, got all of this is actually from last week that the girls hadn't ate everything yet. And then also got everything down here restocked. All right, just got the girls plates fixed so I can go get Callan a nap. We've got peanut butter and jelly, some of those little cheese uh, puffs, kind of like Pirate's Booty and strawberries and a yogurt for each of them. And Callan is ready for his nap. We got a good looking lunch, don't we? Yum. I tell y'all, grocery days are just a little crazy around here. Because <laughs> I try to get everything in, put it up. I should do them like Saturday mornings. That way it's kind of like getting me prepped for the week. I really should do that because that would just be so much easier. And I could do like a Monday morning grocery haul, like motivating video or something. But um, I always seem to do them either Monday or Tuesday. So today is Monday. But it just gets a little bit crazy, especially when he's ready for his nap and I just need to put everything up. At least the cold stuff, that's what I did. And then I kind of handled him and then I put him back down so I can put the rest of the stuff up. And then the girls were hungry. It's lunchtime. It's, well, it's about 11.30. But I thought I'd get their lunch before I go lay him down. So this is how, like, grocery holidays go for me. It's just a, a pretty busy morning. So we kind of let our laundry get a little more behind than we typically do this weekend so I'm gonna be trying to catch on the laundry I put a load in early this morning and I haven't done anything to them since and so I need to get that done let's do some laundry and um, all of that so I just got on a lunch I put Millie and Callan early and down and so hopefully they'll take a good nap Millie usually does Callan's iffy usually have to go back in there a couple times to let like get him back to sleep um, so anyways, I'm gonna get this laundry put some more in and try to get some cleaning done All right, while I've got a little bit I've got stuff like all over my shirt strawberries spit up And I don't plan on changing unless we go somewhere later, which I don't think we are I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my meal prep because Ethan is actually off now And so by the time he gets home, hopefully this will be done and I'll be ready to do the rest of it It's like super easy. It'd be really easy also to like if you want to throw the chicken in a crock pot and cook it and I should have done that because if I would have kitchen on high, it would probably be done by now, but I didn't. So I've got a bunch of chicken. I think I'm going to use four chicken breasts um, to make what I'm making. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to leave the recipe below. It is from Sweet Savory Steph. Actually, one of y'all, actually a few of y'all have told me about her recipe. So last night when I, had, when I was um, kind of meal planning, I actually meal planned a few of her recipes. 
So this is uh, the, her chicken salad. I love chicken salad, and so um, I thought I'd kind of do her version and see how I like it, and I could like do different things with it through the week. I'm gonna do four chicken breasts. I need about three pounds, so it might be not, maybe not quite, but I've got two more that I'm gonna save. Maybe Ethan and I might grill some chicken one night. So she calls this poached chicken. So I've got chicken breasts. Let me wash my hands. And then I'm gonna do some garlic. I don't remember how much she said. I'm just gonna throw some garlic in here. I'm gonna do some salt and some pepper. Actually, I called for peppercorns. I just don't have those, so I'm just doing pepper. And uh, two bay leaves. So I'm just gonna do like a couple of these on here. These are smaller, so I may do like three. Some bay leaves. And then I'm gonna cover it in cold water. All right, so I've got it covered. I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling this, and then I think I'll turn it down to like a, a simmer. Let me look back at the directions. All right, cover the chicken with cold water, place the lid on the pot, oh, so I need to grab a lid, and bring the water to a boil. Reduce the boil or wrap it, to, roast the boil or wrap it simmer and cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So once it boils, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna reduce it and then cook for 20 to 25 minutes. And then I'll check the temperature with my meat thermometer. So that's how I'm gonna cut this. I've never made it like, kind of like, like I've done like boiled chicken and like I don't prefer that method, but this is supposed to be a good method, so we'll try So my chicken's been going for about uh, 20 or so minutes and I checked it with my thermometer and it is done. So I'm gonna lay it on my cutting board and I'm gonna let it cool off for a while before I shred it. All right, so I am, I've got my chicken like shredded up and then I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my celery pretty finely. I wish I had like a veggie chopper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dice this up. I'm just gonna kinda, it calls for like a half, half a cup of celery, half a cup of onion. I'm just gonna put the amount that I feel like I would like in here just kind of do it to my taste so I've got everything like chopped up I just did like just a small amount of onion um, and then not a whole lot of celery either I'm gonna go ahead and like I said I will I'm gonna leave the link to this recipe below I'm gonna go ahead and add my Greek yogurt I'm actually gonna be using this for dinner tonight too I think is what we're gonna have for dinner I'm gonna go ahead and add this we're gonna do a half a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and then we're going to also do a half a cup of light mayo I have this Hellman's light mayo so we're going to go ahead and also do a half a cup of this okay, so half a cup of that then we're going to do a tablespoon of lemon juice so I'm just going to use like like half of a lemon and that's probably a little more than a tablespoon, but we're gonna roll with that. A teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Uh, a fourth of a cup of parsley. I think I am gonna measure that. Um, just so I can get it right. That's actually a lot of parsley. It says fresh parsley, so maybe not so much. I'm not going to use so much. I'll just kind of taste it and see if it needs to add more. Half a teaspoon of celery seed. I've never used celery seed, so this is something I had to get on the grocery order. It says kosher salt. I'm just using regular. All right, I'm just going to like mix that together. That's all of the sauce part of it. So now I'm going to add the celery, onion, all of that. I think I'm missing like a couple things. I actually don't have poppy seeds. I think I need to shred some of this a little more. I don't have poppy seeds and there might have been like one or two other things that I did not add to this. I think the only other thing I didn't add was scallions. So I'm just gonna mix this together really well. I think it is gonna be good. It's kind of hard to tell because I think I'm gonna eat it like a wrap, maybe. I mean, you could do different things with it. It has a really good taste to it though. I'm getting ready to transfer it to another bowl, but it is actually only, if you're on the blue plan on Weight Watchers, two points for a cup of it. So we have a good bit of it for pretty good points, two points. So 
I did want to share that as well. So for dinner tonight, we're going to do pizza. And I'll be real honest, I did, did not want to cook tonight. I have actually made it a goal to cook at home every day this week, Monday through Friday. And I've got stuff here to do that every day. Like, I don't want to eat out at all this week. Um, of course, if something like came up, then I understand that. But that's my goal is to cook at home Monday through Friday, which has been a long time since I've done that. Like, cooked at home every day of the week. Um, but today's just been tough with Callan. He is not, like, he's not really napped today. Um... Every time I lay him down, he'll wake right back up. He's a really good sleeper at night, so I'm not complaining on that part. But um, it's tough when he doesn't nap for me to get things done. But I was really tempted just to go get Chick-fil-A for everybody tonight. He is napping now, though, and Ethan's actually home as well. So they're actually outside playing. So I'm going to go ahead and just make our pizza here. I'm going to make everybody... Um, these that I got on my grocery order today. The Great Value Pizza Crust. They look really good. And then the Rayo's Homemade Pizza Sauce. I'm going to go ahead and pour that on. Ooh, put a lot on there. And then I'm actually going to make myself um, a two ingredient dough pizza. I'm going to make sure I save enough sauce for that. But I have actually not made a two ingredient dough pizza in quite some time. So it sounded really good to make. So that is my plan. This is actually like the perfect amount for our pizzas. It smells really good too. Um, and then I actually grated my own cheese from Aldi. I might actually have to grate a little bit more. I'm gonna see if this is enough. And I've just got pepperoni for their pizza. Um, just make it, actually might do just cheese on one and then I'll do pepperoni on the other. So I'm getting ready to put theirs in the oven. I'm just letting it preheat, but I am doing my two ingredient dough. Got a half a cup of flour for six points, the flour that I'm using. Then the Greek yogurt is zero. So the dough part is gonna be six points. I'm gonna add some garlic salt. And then I think I'm gonna add some oregano and to mix that and if y'all have never worked with two ingredient dough it is um it takes a little bit of work to get it mixed up really well um i've actually made this like several different times on my channel so y'all can go back and watch a lot of like my what i eat today videos and things i made pizza with but um it does take some work to get it like mixed up really well all right their pizza got done we just got i did get the dishes done at least so and then mine's just about done. All right, so my pizza's done. I'm gonna drizzle it with a couple points worth of this. I think I can have like up to three tablespoons. So, I'll count it as two points. So, dinner was delicious. We just had done eating and came outside till bath time tonight. Um, Callan sees the stroller, just push him around. The girls are on their little power wheel thing. But I'm actually going to go ahead and end this out here. We're just going to stay out here for just a few minutes and then head in and do everybody a bath. So bath nights are, which is usually like every couple days, like every other day, bath nights are uh, a process and they're, they take a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye. Bye, buddy. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.